Good morning, YouTube. This is the vlog before the naked vlog. I'm getting ready for my day. So last night, I literally, I couldn't find a guy to go on a date with. Like, there was one guy who wanted to go on a date, but he was just giving me really weird vibes where I felt like he was very, like, adamant, like, I can pick you up. I'm like, oh, no, like, I don't know you like that. Like, I'd rather just meet you there. He's like, oh, like, like, I'm not a bad guy. Like, I wouldn't do anything to you. And I'm like, you just telling me, like, oh, like, you're not a bad guy. You're not going to do anything to me. Let me pick you up. Makes me think that you are a bad person. So... I went with my gut on that one and I just like canceled that date. Um, today I have two dates. One is a second date. Um, we're supposed to go to a diner for lunch. I'm going to get breakfast food because I love diner breakfast food. I don't care whether I'm going to the diner at 9 in the morning. I go to the diner at like 10 o'clock at night. I will order breakfast. I always get my scrambled eggs and my home fries and toast. Um, and then for dinner I'm going on another date with a guy. I should confirm all these fucking dates before I say I'm going on these dates and they don't happen. This guy is actually from France. Like, he lived in France, and then, like, he moved to the U.S., like, 11 years ago, and I, like, was, like, texting him. He's, like, I guess he doesn't, I was, like, like oh, my God, I'm gonna get, like, penny vodka. He's, like, oh, I don't really drink. And I was, like, uh, penny vodka <laughs> is not alcohol. Penny vodka is, like, the best fucking pasta dish you can ever have. Um, so, I guess he doesn't know anything about life. I'm, like, more American culture. <laughs> And then tomorrow we're supposed to be going on a date with someone. We're going to another different Italian restaurant. Um, yeah, so. Now I'm supposed to have three dates this weekend. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm going to be eating a lot. Okay, so I don't know what time it is. I don't know, maybe 1130. I'm just like guessing right now. Just did my hair. I'm going to do my makeup. Confirmed my one o'clock date. He's going to drive out here close from me. So that's good. Again, we're going to go to a diner. I haven't heard from a French guy yet, so literally it's hard to see, keep track of these guys on my phone so like they all have like things so like the guy's name is like his name france and then i met him i think on bumble so bumble so like i know and like i need that like i can't the name's like matt michael like i don't know like fucking john like these names are all getting so like confused in my head i'm like i don't know fucking matt john michael like they're all fucking guy names so i need like an adjective or like a description for all of them so france that's where he's from that's his descriptor <laughs> like literally it makes it so much easier okay so it's a few minutes later we're naked i'm um, trying to not do a naked nipple slip um i feel like i'm gonna wear the same thing i always wear which is like a cardigan leggings and like probably uggs because like i don't know i feel like wearing my uggs today because like i want to keep it low-key super casual because i honestly don't know i didn't really feel anything the first date like i'm gonna go on the second date if i don't feel anything i'm just gonna like be done with this dude but um yeah we'll figure it out i still haven't heard from frenchy guys so like um dude are we going out tonight or no okay quick little vlog before um i drive off so i don't know if i told you this so yeah he's coming to the um what do you call it <laughs> diner near me so that's where we're going um i confirmed with frenchy so we're going like my favorite italian spot for dinner and then i'm going to a different italian spot tomorrow with a different guy um, my mom's like, I can't keep up with you and your guys. I'm like, I can't keep up with them either. There's so many. I literally, when I add their contacts in my phone, also in the notes section, I make notes about them. Like their age, um, their, if it's in their bio, their height, what they do for work, if they have like specific activities that they enjoy that they tell me and we talk about. I make sure I put it in the notes app so I can remind myself when I see them because um, if I don't, then I start mixing them up. <laughs> Because I can't keep track. There's too many of them. We gotta wait for the heat to get going in my car. What's up? Okay, so yeah, I finished this date with this guy. Oh my god, absolutely never fucking going out with him again. I don't know how, but the um, conversation turned political, right? And if you know me, you probably know this on my YouTube. I'm like, conservative. I fucking love Donald Trump. Absolutely love him, right? Um, and then they got to talk, I was like, oh my god, you have like fucking Bernie Sanders. He's a fucking idiot. And this guy was like, I loved Bernie. And I'm like, you like Bernie and socialism? He's like, yeah, I think, like, the rich should, like, give to the poor. And I'm like, but if someone worked for something hard and they are able to build it up to whatever they're able to build it up with, it's not their job to pay other people? Like, I don't think, I'm like, do you really know what fucking socialism looks like? Literally, my fucking co-worker came from, like, Eastern European socialism and she's like yeah like no like it, i've lived in that it's miserable and i'm like oh my god this guy literally was fucking socialist i'm not 
conversation was so political and then i started like i was like yeah, i don't really know much about politics i know i started to play a little stupid but i'm also like it was so fucking bad okay well i'm going out with frenchie tonight so that'll be good i'm gonna go uh text my friend i'm gonna be like oh my this is so bad now i'm going grocery shopping with my mommy until my next date later i also can't wait to facetime my brother and tell him about the date i just got back from with a socialist <laughs> oh, i'm gonna facetime him later and be like yo you're gonna like die when i tell you this story it's so funny Thank God he paid for the bill. Um, what do you call it? Before he, um, we got into this conversation. <laughs> I told someone else I was going to lunch with a friend, a different guy I'm talking to outside and tell him I was going on a date. I'd be like, oh yeah, it was great. Um, it was the worst fucking <laughs> lunch of my life. It was entertaining. So I, I told my mom all about the socialism date I went on. I'm going out with Frenchie tonight. I told her, I'm kind of excited to go out with this guy. I love people from other countries when you have like language barriers like when i worked at the camp and i worked with all those people from england and instead of saying oh it's raining cats and dogs they say it's chucking it down and um oh it's chucking it down they say they want they need to go to the toilet the loo no they say the toilet okay so just finished the date with french guy it went good we kissed all we did was literally like a peck but um i'm texting so many guys again i fucked up i am mess i'm talking to so many guys i literally can't keep track of them um so i have to like really rename these guys on my phone so i don't lose track and forget who i'm talking to because i'm mixing them up so badly like i snapped at the wrong person um the other day i texted the wrong person about a phone call and i was like oh my fucking god like i actually like i gotta stop doing this like i'm literally confusing them all i'm talking to so many and i'm like sending wrong text messages to wrong fucking people <sighs> like i literally can't Okay, I'm driving. I shouldn't be driving and vlogging. But update. Never mind. I checked. I thought I texted the wrong guy. I did not. Oh my god, thank god. I thought I literally texted the wrong guy about a phone call. I was going to text him back today. Oh shit, sorry. I literally meant to send that to my brother earlier. I saved myself. I really thought I texted the wrong guy. I was like, these guys are getting so confusing. And it's hard to keep track when you have like six different text conversations going on. Like, ugh, it's bad. It's bad. Okay. But yeah, now I should like keep better track of these. Okay, so end clip to tonight's vlog. Um, I ended up having a phone call with that other guy I was talking about. Um, he said on the phone literally for like an hour and 15 minutes. Um, he seems a lot cooler. Um, <laughs> during like bad days. I was like, I had like one guy. I said it was a couple weeks, so I obviously didn't fucking say it was today. Um, who was like a socialist who was trying to convince me about socialism. Yeah, this guy, um, thankfully has the same political views as me. And unfortunately in like 2024, and also 2023, whatever freaking year it is. Um, I feel like having the same political, you basically have to date someone who has the same political views as you. Because if you don't, it's very hard because everyone's like so judgmental. And I don't know, say what you want about me and my political views. But I feel like if you like are like a socialist, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um so yeah so i'm like i could never fucking date someone who's a socialist as i look at them and be like you literally are like literally don't have brain cells and then someone comes back you said literally like five times good socialists still don't have fucking brain cells literally but yeah i'll see you guys for tomorrow's vlog